Hi, this is Daniel Schmon. I'm going to explain how you can copy and paste um, a list of links with the descriptions into a SharePoint 2013 or SharePoint Online list. Now, in the past, you could do this using SharePoint 2010, but because the new quick edit view in 2013 and SharePoint Online is HTML only, um, there's no longer an Excel grid on the actual page, no, no longer an ActiveX control. So pasting hyperlinks doesn't work as you would expect it to. I'll demonstrate that first before I get into the solution. So here we have a list that's got a column for title, of course, and our link column. If I click on that, we can see we have a hyperlink and the display text. Now, it's important to note, you can still paste in just hyperlinks only. If you have a spreadsheet that's got a, a column of hyperlinks, that will work. The problem is if the hyperlinks have got display text. Okay, so I'll demonstrate that now how you would expect it to work by flicking to Excel. And here I've just got some hyperlinks. I'll just show you one of these, edit that hyperlink. You can see it just points to google.com. Now you would expect, of course, as with other data, you can, well, you would expect to be able to copy this, switch back to the view, uh, the, the quick edit view and paste it in. It looks okay so far, but oh, no, it's gone red. If I click on that, whoops. Close that tab, stay here, but if I click on the little URL symbol, the hyperlink editor, you can see that the link hasn't come through, it's just the display text. Okay, so that obviously is no good. I'll just discard that. Now you would also think that maybe you could do some other things like um, using the delimiter between the domain and the text, uh, various types of delimiters, but unfortunately none of that will work. So the only way that you can do this, because of course you can't export while you, I'll just flick back to the list now, while you can export to Excel, uh, unfortunately that's just a one-way synchronization at this point. You used to be able to do this in previous versions, but you can't anymore because when you click export it just loads up a data a connection string, a query, into uh, which queries the SharePoint list. So it's one way only. The only way to go two-way is with Access. Access has changed a bit over the years, so I'll just click on this to open it up. And we can see we want to, we've got a couple of options. We want to link the data, uh, link to the data on the SharePoint site, as opposed to just exporting it. This allows a two-way connection. So I'll hit OK on that. It'll do its thing. Now we get our table, uh, under our tables list, we get our um, list. Open that up and there's some data. Now, unfortunately, there is a certain way that you need to paste the data in. It's still not as simple as just opening it up in Access. If I flick back to Excel, you'll notice that if I get my same list, copy that, try pasting it in Access, I'm actually going to have the same problem. First of all, I get this message saying that you won't be able to undo the paste operation, so I'll continue with that. And immediately, the URL data Microsoft in field link could not be sent to the server. May it be invalid or longer than 255 characters. Now, it's obviously not longer than 255 characters, so we'll just cancel this and go back to Excel and see what we need to do. Um, first of all, let's see, I'll credit this blog post that I found, which talks about Access 2007 and formatting hyperlinks there. If you scroll down, what this guy talks about is using this delimiter. At first, you put the display text and then a hash and then the URL. And that actually does work. So back in Excel, how it does work, we will see here, I've got title on the left. I've actually got two extra columns or one extra column. Uh, the URL here on the right, which is our plain hyperlink and then uh, this special link column, which is a uh, concatenation of the title from the left, a hash, a space, and then the URL from the right. So if I copy these instead, copy, back to access. Now what I need to do, I can't just paste in this cell because that will just paste in the cell itself, and that's not what we want. I need to select this title cell first, hold shift, and then select the last cell in the list of columns that I want to paste my data in. So of course, as with pasting into a SharePoint list in the data view, data grid view, 
you um, need to make sure that your columns align from Excel and where you're pasting into. But it's also important in Access that you select all of the cells in the new row here that you want to paste. So now I can go and paste. And again, it prompts me to say that I can't undo this operation. So I'll continue with that. And we should see the data come in there. And it lets me click out to show that um, they've all pasted in OK. And if we go back to SharePoint, we can obviously confirm this by uh, refreshing our view. And there they are. I can click on one of these. And away we go. So that's how you copy and paste hyperlinks, including the display text from Excel into SharePoint.